two for today. So first off, you guys, thank you for helping us See, out. Hold and on. if you close oh. the door, he he scratches at the screen. <laughs> What you guys doing? What's happening? Exactly. What you guys doing? It's like he heard us. Are you doing something? <sighs> okay. It's really straight. I got a new um, a blow dryer that's like a, 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 it's a blow dryer with a comb. Oh, you have to show this to Afterwards, me. Afterwards, I'll because show it, it to you. it is like. Right? It it's is like really super straight. straight. Okay, I have to show you and it, I, and it I, doesn't take super duper long. Because I really wanted to tell you this morning and I was like. We have a lot to do, and I don't have time. I know, to and it doesn't. On it. it doesn't take any long than if you do with the round. You know, normally I do a roller brush, right? And I'm like, <laughs> but you got a lot of hair too. I know, so I think it would do yours lickety split. Oh well, yeah, it would. I'll show after we're all done. I'll show you my new my new purchase. Zhuzh, zhuzh. Oh, are we still going? Yes. Of course, we're still going. Hi guys. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. We got a two for today. Right. So you guys helped us out and you told us that the things that we did wrong were the pickled eggs. Uh, one of them being that we used um, pickled beets instead. And here's the thing, you guys. We like pickled beets. I so do. we had pickled beets and, and we didn't, I didn't even think. It didn't even occur to me, no, this is not the it, right type of, of beet. It really didn't because I only think of pickled beets. Yeah. And I yeah. don't think that there are regular beets out there, except for the beets that you get in the, like, you know, in the... Um, raw. In the produce section. The raw. Right. Yeah. Right. So the raw ones, obviously, you dice them up, then you, you roast cook them, them or, yum. Yeah. But there's only, they're only, as far as I'm concerned, there are only two types, raw and pickled. Well, no, they're in the can. But it's not true. Later on, I went <laughs> back to the grocery store and I'm like, where's the non-pickled beet? Well, kind of obscured way up on a top shelf, there's a can of generic beets. And voila. And look what we made for you. Yep. Sorry you can't taste this. Because many of you said deviled eggs, deviled eggs, deviled eggs. Deviled eggs, deviled eggs, deviled eggs. And so many of you I said. what I today. I'm, uh, it's gorgeous. Um, many of you also said, including my father, hey daddy, um, is that this is served with beer. So... We've got a Founders we crack that open. Solid Gold. If you've not tried this Founders Solid Gold, I'll tell you what, it's a really great lager, and it's my favorite, um, and we have it at home all Something the time, tells so. me that typically at a bar, they're not pink pickled eggs. They're just a big old jug yeah. of white pickled eggs. These are a little too fancy for a too bar setting. Too fancy. Who says too fancy? But uh, I last week, I after reading all your comments... I made the same recipe, but with beet juice, beet juice from a can, from a right. can of beets. Not pickled. Not pickled, just, just a can of beets. On its own. So, and then I made deviled eggs. So, do you want to try just the, the egg on its own first, and then the deviled egg? What, what would you yes. like? Yes, I go think get a that, knife. that is a perfectly acceptable thing. Also, I want everyone to realize, here, this chicken right here, this chicken, is the cutest thing ever. It's like a self-serve mm. stacker here. It's, it's the cutest thing. It's a, it's a service for two. <laughs> That's definitely a service for two mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. I know. Okay, so let me just, and this baby's firm. Is it as firm as the other ones? Yes, it's firm. Okay. It is definitely. Well, look at that. Look how pretty. It's still ombre, just like the it's other one was. It's still beautiful. It's really pretty. But here we go. Oh, it smells very Still vinegary. smells vinegary. Did you do all the spices too? Did the same exact mm -hmm. recipe okay. from the cookbook except just regular should, beet juice. Should we have that again? Or just go no, in full in out? just go in full in out. Okay. I'm not going to eat the whole thing at once. Just okay. take a bite. All right. Cheers. 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 There's a lot of... That's an interesting combo. Yeah. Not bad. No. It actually helps. It does. I don't know that this is any better. No. <laughs> it's not. Not any better, friends. Didn't make a difference. I, it's still really vinegary. Like, oh. are you ready to try a deviled? 
I guess I okay, have so to Okay, so let me just tell you, I just made a very simple deviled egg recipe, mayo, yeah. a little bit of Dijon, yeah. salt and pepper, Tabasco. Yum. Just super simple. I love it. I didn't want to get all complicated. Okay. All right. Oh, it's very firm. Mm hmm Cheers. Goodness gracious. Oh. That's a lot of layers of flavors. There's a lot going on there. This is very tangy. I kind of like it. Do you? Uh-huh. I like it better than it on its own. Okay. I'm liking it. Oh, man. I just want to show you all at home the cross section of this bite. Look at that. Wow. Okay. You done? I'm done. You know what? I like the deviled because the, the mayo and the... Uh, Dijon and Tabasco adds a it, it it brightens it up. I'm also gonna tell you this I don't mind a deviled egg and a beer No, I've no. never had that combo before. I haven't either. This is the first time ever mm -hmm. of me eating an egg and a beer Yeah, but you know what but I like it. I do too. I do too Sometimes I think there's something wrong with us that we have yeah. become the these, yeah, I do we, too. we have become there's this some. but no I think I think there's something about this. Mm -hmm. A beer and an egg. And I don't know why. Those those so, old bar guys had something going on. I guess they had they knew what they were doing, but this wow. I mean it's maybe, Okay. Well, let's get protein. into the real reason we're here. Okay. So you guys, we decided we'd do a QA because we know you guys had some questions about us and just funsies about cooking and other things. Why did you oh, even do that? Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> Why do you make yourself burp like mm -hmm, that? Mm -hmm. And so we thought, Q&A. We'd answer a few of your questions. So we're going to go back and forth and uh, Yeah, and you guys submitted questions. We've got all the, and all the questions here. that you submitted. Put those away. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Pardon, oh, pardon oh, me. Put those, oh, no, these are over we're here. just gonna, we're gonna, you guys submitted questions. Yeah. And we're gonna, so the first we're one is for gonna you. Ask. This is, um, okay, so this first one's from Alice, Alice Fielding. Um, which do you like better, making casseroles out of jello and spam or teaching 13 year olds to sing? Well, Alice. Both things are very different from each other. Mm -hmm. um, I do like teaching 13 year olds how to sing uh, because it is fun. And um, I know that most people would not think that it is actually fun, but it really is that fun. Um, and I do like making casseroles. So I, I can't really you can't choose. You They're can't. very different. It's like um, Solomon's, Solomon's Choice. What's that? Like if you're gonna you know, half the baby? Yeah. I can't half the baby. I can't have the baby. It's, it's, they're both equally fun. Um, but sometimes making casseroles is more fun because I get to hang out with her. So, exactly. I don't get to hang out with her at I'm school. I'm not at middle school. Right, so I would say it would win out just because I get to hang out with my, my best friend. So, that's yeah. probably why. So, All there right. you go, middle schoolers. There you go, middle school. I'm more fun than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one is from Dan Saikios. Uh, Saikio. S A I K Y O. Sorry, Dan. I don't know how to. Such a great name. I know. Fun. All right, Dan. Um, he's got two, two, no, three questions. Oh yeah, this but, first one's for you. Obviously, you're a good cook since you made it on the finales of Chopped. Thanks, Dan. But were you good in the kitchen before you started this channel? I would say yes. I would say yes. I'm a, I'm a decent home cook. We, we both are decent home cooks. We are really, yeah, we are decent home cooks. Mm -hmm. I would say more than decent. I would say more than decent. I mean, we, we cook most of our own meals. Yes. We are not goer outers except for, no. you know, pizza and stuff like that. Yeah. That's just normal. Um, but we've been cooking, we've been cooking together since college. Yeah. And throwing parties and doing all of that stuff, stuff because that's what we did. Um, so it's just always been a part of our lives. Yeah. Our moms cooked. Our moms cooked, yeah. Like from scratch. Our grandmas cooked. Mm -hmm. so, so it's always been a part of our lives. Yeah, it's just part of yeah. who we are. Yeah. But really, I would say um, over the past 20 years, 
I've become a better cook because oh, I just practice so much at home. Definitely. Like and I think when we when I first got married, I was doing hamburger helper, <laughs> like every like idiot young woman. Yeah, and sometimes you want that, and sometimes you want that. but over time, just the more you practice, the better yeah. you get. Yeah, right? that's uh, true. Okay, then one B. How has doing this channel made either of you a better cook? Okay. I don't know if this channel's made me a better cook. I think it has. Has it? Oh, definitely. Because how? I think whenever we have to think about some recipes and okay. stuff, okay. we have to go in and like really kind of they, problem solve, if oh, you will. Problem solving. Yeah. I like that. They don't you they don't tell you how long or at what temperature sometimes. Right. A lot of these and, recipes don't have detailed instructions, no. so you gotta figure out so you're right. So you just kind of deduce <gasps> things has from created it made us better cooks. We're I problem think it has. solvers. I really think problem it has problem solvers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Problem solvers. And then his number two question is how can we support you if we don't if they're not on Patreon? Okay. Thank you for that question, Dan. I appreciate it. So um, you can support us one by sharing this channel with sharing all your friends, it. liking us on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, all of that kind of stuff. So we have um, been toying with the idea of putting a little shop on our website, recipearchaeology.com, mm -hmm. with some things. We just life has been super duper busy lately, and we haven't gotten that little shop up. So. No. As soon as it is, we will let you guys know, and that's another way to support us. If you want some merch, some, some recipe archaeology yeah. merch. Maybe a little pen. Little, I was thinking a yeah, little pen. Little buttons. A little button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We haven't even talked about that. But like, we, mm. we both. But we, you know, uh, maybe a apron, apron or and maybe a t-shirt, like t -shirt. maybe with a, a fun saying, like, mm. I'm not mad at that. Mm. I'm not mad at that. You want a, you want a t-shirt that says, I'm not mad we at that. We do say that a lot. Or... It's not disgusting. Right. It's not awesome. <laughs> but it's not disgusting. It's not disgusting either. That's a good one. Recipe archaeology. That's yeah. a good one. Right? We need so, to come with some catchphrases. So catchphrase. We're going to work on that, yeah. and that's another way to, to uh, support us. But the best way to support us. I appreciate that question. Like the best way to support us is to like us on Facebook and Instagram, and share, share our videos, share and with just your friends. keep watching because yeah. that's the best thing. And commenting and telling us mm -hmm. about what you do. And we like your comments. Yeah, we love it. Okay, next is Ruth Maryam. Okay, she says, different regions of the country have various festivals and celebrations having to do with harvest and yes. such, and there are usually terrific cookbooks to be found from lady clubs or 4-H groups or farmers. Uh, have you ever thought about working your way around to each state's particular flair? Yes. I mean, we did a chuck wagon thing. We did do um, a chuck wagon. We'll put the link up Yeah, here. That was really fun. It was super fun, and we got a little bit of Oklahoma history and about chuck wagons in general, which are not just Oklahoma. I mean, that goes throughout yeah. the West. Yes. Um, especially when you, people were migrating that but way. But I would like to so, learn about different states' history. No doubt, because my... So my family is from Iowa and Ohio, mm -hmm. and a lot of us have settled in the Chicago area, so that's completely different mid western wise and my family's from texas and louisiana, louisiana. i mean which it, louisiana has a wonderful mm, culinary history yum uh, you know what here's my dream is when we go full time full time and we're really established we can kind of like you know how conan now is traveling to other parts of the world yep. like then we can travel to different states yep. and visit these festivals and fairs oh, yeah. kind of like we did with the chuck wagon festival and a friend of mine said like what would you guys dream about doing and i said well i think the dream or the get is to visit all these ladies Oh, and men, and you know and men who put these recipes mm -hmm. together yeah. and really talk to them about what it is and the history behind it and how did you even come to this recipe and what does that mean and so those are all just from those areas around and so just traveling around and talking to people I think is probably our dream yeah. of doing that and of course cooking yeah. obviously yeah. with all of these people yeah that'd be great mm -hmm. okay number next one. okay this is from my uh, revival um, and she's, or he says, how did you get on Chopped? Wondering how that came about. This is an interesting story. It is. So first I'm going to tell you that I wrote all about that and it is on our website, yes. recipearchaeology.com. We'll put a link down below. Um, but basically, um, a producer from Chopped emailed us yep. and just said, I went down a rabbit hole of retro recipe websites and found you and would you And we really want you like guys to come apply for the show. Yes, and so Stephanie did all of the legwork on her end because I am super busy with school and everything else that's going on, and not that she is not busy, she is busy all the time too, but 
she went ahead and followed through, and I didn't because I suck. So, um, of course, she would be great at this. Like I always thought she would be because on the fly you have to do all of this stuff all the time. To, and you got to work hungry. fast. I want you to do this. I need this now. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. So. Obviously, you were going to be great at it. Yeah. It was going to be amazing. And that's basically how it worked. Yeah. I mean, they contacted us, and and we and followed it, up, and yeah. Stephanie and was, got on. I easy. got on, and it was fun. It's awesome. And you can read more about the process yeah. um, on our website, so check that out. Yeah. Okay, so this one's from Martha Roberts. Um, mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like you are wasting money by cooking some of these recipes that obviously won't be good? Okay, can I address this one because I've thought about this? Yes. Because that's a good, very good question. And my um, initial thought is this to us right now is a really enjoyable hobby. Yeah. And like many hobbies, they're, they um, require money. So if you enjoy um, cross stitching or if you enjoy scrapbooking, that yes. is scrapbooking can become a very expensive hobby. Or let's say golf, that's a very oh, expensive golf. hobby. My dad. But that doesn't is a make it any less valuable. So no. if it brings you joy, and you Marie Kondo. And, right? And if you, you know, so that's how I, that's how I look at this. You know, yeah. we are spending money on this food and we don't eat all the food, but it is a really fun activity that we do together. Definitely. That is worth the money, in my opinion. And a lot of this food gets reimagined as something else. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the time, yes, yeah. like well, there's components. Questions, there's questions later on. We'll yeah, talk about so that. doesn't always end up in the dumpster. Yeah. yeah but, Not always. But any any fun activity and, or hobby yeah. will cost you money. Plus, sometimes so. we're really, ex like, all of a sudden, surprise, it's good. And then yeah. you eat the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. So that's really fun. Exactly. Okay, David Gaston. Hey, David. Hi, David. He's been around with us a long time. How did you gals each individually take an interest in cooking? Mm. Was cooking one of the interests that brought you gals together as friends initially, or did that come along later? So, okay, I'll say we met in 97. 97, yes. Was 90, it 97? 97, that's when you came to OU. Mm-hmm. 97. Mm -hmm. We were in the same... Um, Choir. Well, and in the same uh, studio. So when, oh, you're yeah, at, yeah. when you are at a music school and you get a teacher, um, your teacher is your your studio yeah. and so everyone's a part of that and Stephanie and I were in the same studio um I had been at OU a year and then Stephanie yeah, transferred, transferred in um and it was just like um, yeah it was immediate it was like, immediate friendship yeah and so it was just done. so it was music that brought us together yeah definitely initially. but then I think quickly we discovered that we both enjoyed entertaining Yes. And that Martha Stewart was like a thing. Our, our a person. A common bond. Mm -hmm. She was our person. She was our, our Julia Child. Yes. She's our, she's our. She's our hero. She is. She's right? the best. Plus, we were the ones that threw the parties. Yeah. Like, if there was going to be a person's birthday or if somebody was getting married and mm -hmm. they were doing a bachelorette party or, you know, whatever, yeah. we were the ones that threw the party. Yeah. And we were the ones that cooked all the things. Yeah. Even if they were just... Whatever, just call the hot stuff. like just the what stuff. is it the weenies yeah. in the grape <laughs> like we always did the weenies in the grape, grape jelly, jelly in the mustard yeah and yeah that was like our signature right um and uh indiv how did you guys individually take an interest in cooking so again like we said I think we just grew up yeah. watching our mothers I just have cook. always cooked me too it's just not I've always I've always enjoyed it I've always, always loved being kitchen. in the kitchen me too yeah my grandmothers both my grandmothers yes. were just always 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 in the kitchen yep. when we visited and that's where I wanted to be just, yeah it was the fun. Exactly. It was so fun. I just have I have amazing memories of both yes. of my grandmothers in the kitchen. Yes. Okay. Patrick, you want to read Patrick? Patrick. Patrick. Hey Patrick. Patrick Duncan. Um, a few questions. Did your husband slash boyfriend think you were crazy when you started this channel? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I They've think they've been super supportive. Yeah, they we call them our silent producers. <laughs> um they have both been really supportive. When we were coming up with like Names. names and things like that. Yeah, My maybe. boyfriend came up with a few. Like he's still bitter that we didn't use Hot Grub Time Machine. Uh, <laughs> as it, sorry, Jeremy. Um, but we did not. He's still pushing for it though. Thought that could be our our uh, Twitter handle. 
hot grub time machine. I think it was too many letters. Um, it's just, it's funny. Sorry. It's funny, but it, we're not having yeah. it. It's not, it's yeah. not happening. So yeah, they were super supportive of us and always have been. And they just think that. Yeah. They have, they've always been like, yes, totally. Yeah. They love it. Okay. Love so it. he says, um, also the really nasty recipes, how much of them do you try to save as to not to waste food? And how much goes straight in the trash? It just depends on the it recipe. Depends. And it depends on if you can save an element of it. Yes. Versus the whole, the whole thing. thing. And, and admittedly, if it is super duper nasty. Right in the trash. Right in the trash. Sorry. It's goes just right boom. in the trash. Remember that loaf that we made? The nut loaf? Oh my God. It was so disgusting. It went right in the trash. That nut loaf. It was gross. I it, thought it was going to be sick. It was disgusting. And it went right in the trash. Now... Would Conan eat it? Yeah. Anything that we make, he'll but, eat it. But then I don't want to clean it up nobody later. Wants that. Nobody needs that. When he, it comes out one of the ends. Mm -mm. Nobody, no. nobody no, wants that. that. Nobody okay. wants that. Read okay. The next one. Um. So this is S. C. Cooper. Hello. Um. She, uh, she or he says, uh, "Hey, ladies, I love your channel. Thank you. Ooh, they live in China. That's so cool. Ooh. Um. And we use really interesting ingredients in our cuisine: fresh mint, nutmeg peppers, etc. And I was wondering if you ever had a recipe that you wanted to try but could not make because the ingredients were simply inaccessible. What were the ingredients, and what was, and was it because they have fallen out of favor, or another reason? Thanks for all the fun. Okay, videos. I can think of two things. Okay, One, yeah. do you remember when we made that thing um, from the medieval cookbook that called for rose water? You, yes. You had a heck of a time finding. Rose and water. then I knew, I knew kind of where I was going to go because we needed, you needed to go to either an Asian food store or an Indian food store, mm -hmm. um, or but we did find it at International Pantry, mm -hmm. which is our one of our favorite places here. So the specialty. And it has all specialty items and things like that. And mm -hmm. so whenever we need something that's like weird, we usually do that. And we're really lucky in this day and age, we have Amazon. And there are so You can find much what you need on Amazon. You can find. But I think what we run into a lot of the times is in these like recipes that are older, they're different measurements. Yes. And so yes. a lot of the time we do a lot of research you have to, to think figure. about is this going to right is like, this the right measurement cuz like with yeast and with jello mm -hmm. the the packaging, packaging very has, has changed. One thing that I want to make for the holidays that is in a fun cookbook that somebody sent us um, are these treacle scones. Oh, the treacle scones, yeah. And I went to International Pantry to get the treacle um, like molasses or whatever that mm -hmm. is and they did not have it. But she will order it for us. See? She's going to put it on the order because that's like, she says she has orders from things from Great Britain that that's she cool. orders regularly and she's going to put it on the list and will call me when it comes in. I love that. That's why we love International Pantry. That's why we wow. like shopping local because we have some amazing stores here in Norman yeah. and we really want to support them and we love them and they go above and beyond, especially when we need these weird ingredients. But mm -hmm. we're also really lucky because we have such an international... Um, but yeah, since we're in a college town. We're in a college town. We have, we have a lot of international places. international places that we can go yeah. and find things. And so it's really nice. We've we've been lucky, yeah. I think, in that respect. So, oh, squirrel. Conan. Squirrel. 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 <laughs> All right. This is from Molly. Molly Smith. Uh, what do you do with the leftovers, the gross stuff, the semi-good stuff? Uh, do you ever have RA-themed parties with your friends? Okay, so, so I, I don't know if we've had a full-on RA theme party, but we have had things that we've served at parties Definitely. that we've done on the show. And that we have taken specifically to parties. Yes. And always they get eaten. Yes, because we pick the good stuff. We do. We're not... So we're we've, not, we've done our eggnog. We, we've done our Tom... And our, Tom and Jerry's. Tom and Jerry's. Those were a big hit. Everyone we'll loves the, it. The link up above. Everyone loves the Tom and Jerry's. Oh, man. Those were so good. So good. We did those at a New Year's party. Mm -hmm. So... Let's see. Oh, we just did the tomato cake again. For we had a chopped party. Yeah, we did for a chopped, Steph, and I made the tomato soup cake with the cream cheese frosting and all of that. And that's on the website. So go to the website yep, to find that. Yep, yep. It's really great cake. So it's, easy and it's so, so moist, moist and it's so yummy. It really is yes. yummy. You got it all um, eaten up. There's other things that we've made that we've taken other places, but people always eat it because we only take the good stuff. We're not okay? going to bring something gross. We're not. No. We're never going to bring something. But we have had and now. I have thought what? we do need to make an entire party full of it. I can't. 
but I feel like that's going to take some planning on our part. Yeah, some which planning. Yeah, which which we can really, do. It takes a little bit of time. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, Andy. Oh, Andy is sends us all kinds of yes, cookbooks hi, all the Andy. time. Oh, our Hotlanta cookbook the, that we love. The Atlanta cookbook. Our Hotlanta. He cookbook. sent us a lot of stuff. I love that cookbook. Okay, he says from watching all of your episodes, it seems like the top two worst recipes were green goddess salad and the balls on picks balls on picks y'all. which one haunted you for days and days balls on picks <laughs> i still think like about it tasting tasting the anchovy balls oh, on picks man, for so me bad. for me hands down balls yeah. on picks yeah for you probably balls on picks but you know what that nut loaf Oh. I still, that nut loaf was just so heinous. It was disgusting. It was so, it was, and I, I know it, it was, really made me feel sick. It was disgusting. It was it, awful. No, but yeah, I'm going to go with balls on picks. Uh, nothing has ever made me like have to run to the bathroom. No, but you did spit out the ball. I did. I didn't eat that anchovy sure. ball. Um, <laughs> have you ever made anything that was so repulsive that you didn't show it? Oh, no. No. No, we will show everything. We there's nothing we haven't held back. Good, bad, and ugly, man. We are we <laughs> definitely will show you all of it. Okay. Eric Lewis says, "Hi. I'm curious Hi, if Eric. any of the uh, recipes you have prepared on your channel have become a part of your normal food repertoire. Would you ever consider doing an entire holiday meal?" Thanksgiving or Christmas yes of retro food recipes and host yes. your friends and family and film it for a video yes I love that idea if we can figure out how to how to work our schedules yes to do that I would do that a hundo P hundred percent hundred I would do it yes it's awesome yes so please. what have yes. you made again um what have I made again? I know what I've made again I know what you well, made again. Well, I mean, tomato cake. Like, tomato cake that made, again. We've made again. Those ice cream muffins. Oh, I've made those ice cream muffins like a Multiple lot. Multiple times. Yeah, they're like hands down the easiest, oh. like like the best. Okay, they taste I so made, good. How, what did you make them? I made them mint with chocolate? mint chocolate chip. And? Holy smokes. Oh my word. No. They were amazing. You got to get ice cream muffins. They're up there oh, too. Oh, and you know what? Oh. When I was getting the mint chocolate chip ice cream at the store, uh -huh. you know the um, Biscoff cookie? There's an ice cream that's there made is. by Biscoff. Yeah. What? So I bought it, but I just haven't had time to make the muffins with that Biscoff ice cream. I will tell you this, though. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so I have made it with haagen -Dazs. Okay. It turns out that for me, haagen does not have enough sugar. I like. I agree. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's a more, it's an elevated palate kind of situation, yeah, you, but it doesn't have the sugar quotient that you need from the bluebell. You need, like, you you need the high sugar content. You need the corn, the one thing with the corn syrup in you it. You need it. That's what you need. Yeah. Um, you know what else I've made? Again, um, I made the vinegar pie for Chris, for Thanksgiving. Oh, vinegar pie. I oh. made that for oh. Thanksgiving for my family in Texas. I've Loved made vinegar it. pie. Loved it. Because it's so good. It's just a chest pie. So easy. But it's so good. It's so yummy. So there are lots of those recipes that we use or like elements of them that we'll use again uh -huh. um, that we didn't even know that we were using. I'm trying to think so. there's something else I've made. I'm sure I made something with hot dogs. Because <laughs> hot dogs are the best. I love weenies. Oh, Sharon. All right. What is Sharon saying? Sharon Smith. I love your channel. Sharon, we love you. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. I collect finished cookbooks. Is that how you started making the recipes? Okay, definitely. Yes. So again, we were in my apartment at the time, mm -hmm. and I was moving to a house, and um, we were packing up all my stuff because Stephanie is a really good, a good packer. Packer. I'm a and good eliminator too. That's it. Like I needed I like to eliminate. Throwing other people's stuff out. She really does, and she's really good at it mm -hmm. too. So I needed that to happen because I had all of these books and I had all these things from college even that I was holding on to. And she was like, why do you have this music book from like, Dr. First of all, why do you have so many t-shirts? I don't know. From 20 years ago. Because that's who I yeah. have. I have all the t-shirts. You don't need that many t-shirts. You don't. It's ridiculous. So I brought her in. And I was to like, help. why do you have theory textbooks? I did. From college. I did. You do not need theory I textbooks. I did it. We got rid of them. All of them. But I had a shelf and a half full of cookbooks because my mother, whenever she goes places to different places, she always gets me a cookbook from there, a weird, like, 
Amish ladies local. cookbook or yeah. a local cookbook for where she is. Mm -hmm. And so she finds one, she brings it back to me, and then I put it on my shelf and I don't do anything with it. Right. Until Ding we were ding. we were looking through and our very, very first recipe was hot dog hamburgers. Wiener burgers. Wiener burgers. Wiener burgers. <laughs> and we were up late, we were having a glass of wine, and we were just looking through these cookbooks and laughing hysterically, and we said, well, we gotta make this. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, Stephanie also has a blog herself, which is hubskisseshotdog.com, and we did it for that. Yeah, yeah. We just Wiener did burgers. And Wiener we were burgers. like, what? we need to video this, because it it's fun. so fun. And then we just kept Going. videoing ourselves <laughs> and and I have this cookbook that is a collection of my grandmother's recipes yep. that we look through and it's just all the things that she had typed out it's, it's just so a, it's such a treasure and some of the most of the things are awesome but some of them are like Bruh. and so we made some things from that and we made them things from that and so it was just like it just it was an easy yeah. It was an easy transition into what we are doing now. Yeah. Which is what we love. So East Cider, hi East Cider. Hi. Um similar before. What which recipes have you made again, either for yourselves or for other people? The keepers? Okay, one thing I have not made again, but I keep on thinking I want to make again is the spaghetti balls. Oh, spaghetti balls were amazing. And I think I am gonna do that this year. Yeah, they need to they're they're definitely a Christmas item. They, they're, they're labor intensive. Labor intensive. You need help like doing them together. It's there's oil involved. It, you know, it's just frying, like frying and things like that. It's a lot, but it's totally worth it. Try it. We will put the link. Spaghetti balls. Yeah. Everyone should do it this Christmas and then call it Buddy Balls. But yes. that's ours trademark. Buddy We're, Balls. We trademark that. It's ours. The other thing I have made every year are the um, fruitcake cookies. Oh yeah, the fruitcake. Especially if you're going to a cookie exchange. <laughs> Because they're very unique. And they're very easy to make. Super easy. And they're yummy. Lots of flavor. Love those fruitcake so Christmas yummy. cookies. Love oh, they're those. so yummy. Okay. Um, Elizabeth Evers. Uh, she says, what was the worst recipe you ever tasted? Balls. Balls, balls on picks. picks. Balls, balls on, on picks. picks. It's disgusting. Balls it's the whole thing. It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, Long-haired country boy. What's going on? Um, says, have you thought about doing a collaboration with cowboy Kent Rollins? Another Okie who does old recipes that Chuck Wagon Cooks made. We would love to. We I, would love to. I checked out Cowboy Kent Roland's website. And? And his YouTube channel. He's He's got a nice following. So he cool. He does a lot of fun Chuck Wagon cooking outside at his Chuck Wagon. Love it. And I, we, you know what? Bring I'd it on, be, Kent. I'd be willing to drive to wherever he is in Oklahoma to do a collaboration with him. Anytime. If anybody now fun. knows Cowboy Kent Rollins. <laughs> Turn him on to this, and we got. We, we got would you. love to do a, a video with Kent. That'd be so fun. He's, he seems like a lot of fun. I'm in. I'm in. Right. Uh, Shelby Scott says, How old will you go with your recipes? Will you stay around the 1900s, or will you try stuff from ancient times like, um, I don't know that word. Apsis? Apis? I've heard of this book before. Apis? Apis? Sorry that we don't know how to pronounce Sorry. it. Sorry. It's, uh, it's a cookbook from the first century AD. So I have heard of this cookbook before. Okay, great. There is a YouTuber called Emmy Maid in Japan. She has done a recipe from that particular cookbook. Um, hmm. It's very interesting, but it is like super duper old stuff yeah. that and doesn't sound very We tasty. took some older recipes. I mean, we did that pancake thing from the middle. The... the Middle Ages, mm -hmm. middle, medieval, medieval times, um, which actually came out really well, and we thought it was going to be disgusting. It, that was yummy. What was that thing called? But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've done things from early American times, and we have a cookbook that's just um, all from presidents' wives. Mm -hmm. um, and we made that's some fun. wine jelly out of that one. Yep. Um, that, uh, that was Thomas Jefferson's wife, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so that was early America. So you know, we what? do not discriminate when it comes there's to old no, recipes. There's no time limit. No. No time limit. No, we'll use whatever is there. And yes, we would go as late Apicius? as Apicius. Apicius. Is that the way you say that? I didn't. Sorry that we don't know how to say Sorry. that. Sorry. Uh, Lawson296, have you made any of these recipes again for you oh. and your family? We have answered that question. They have been tasty, and yes, we will. Yeah. And sometimes they like it, and sometimes they don't. But they still try it, because they're awesome. Yeah. Uh, Papa Lynn, number one, I know you two met as music students. Mm -hmm. uh, and that Christine is a music teacher. Yes, I am. 
Uh, I teach voice at a university. Oh, that's so cool. And also direct oh, a church nice. choir. Great. Oh, I also... Very good. She directed direct our, our church choir this morning, I as did. a matter of fact. I did this morning. And you did a very nice job. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's enjoyable to sing in your choir. Oh, I thank you for being a part of it. It was really fun. Um, but I also do the children's choirs at our church and mm -hmm. uh, all that stuff. Um, and have for years. Um, please tell us how music figures into your lives now. So you clearly have a lot of music in your life. Oh, no. Just none at right. all. No. And, My and entire existence is dedicated to music mm -hmm. in general. Yeah. Um, Stephanie still... So I sing in our church choir and I do special music at our church. Yes. And I, I like to think that when there's a funeral, they will call one of the two of us. They will. We're like the resident funeral singers. Yeah. And, at, at our church. And if one of us can't... Then the other one will. The other one will. Or which, which if one I of us admit, is sick. I really enjoy doing the funerals. I do too. It's one it, of my favorite things to do. It's interesting that you say that because it is mine as well because oh. it's it's a comfort that you can bring to people that... Exactly. Yeah. Ex I know. That's exactly why I love doing it. I know. And it's hard sometimes, you guys. I'm not going to lie. No. Especially it's, when... Well, even if you don't know the person it's, and then you hear about their life and then you have to get up and sing. Well, and that's kind of one of the things I like the best. You get to hear about you these amazing to... people and their lives and what happened and that's Oh, but that's then special. when they have the military funerals. Oh, it's hard. Oh, snap. Those, it's really hard. Those old guys and then they have the... And they have the one the I did salute. recently, they, they had two guys come and, and do the flag and then present it to his wife. Oh. Whoa! Oh my god. Sometimes you have to look away. Yes! You just can't. And then like... I gotta get up and sing. Oh yeah, that's mean. Just oh, sweet. But it's so good. I, I love is. doing it. And so, yes. So, music... and then, yeah, and then also my job <laughs> as a mother is to hound my kids to practice their piano. And their instruments. And their instruments. And piano is being pra played until they're 18. Yep. In this household, they don't have a choice because when I was a kid, I begged and begged and begged and begged and begged my mother to let me quit piano. And she, and she finally relent. No, she relented. So when did I was I probably around 14? No, probably around 11. She relented and let me quit, and it is the biggest regret. So that also happened to me. So I'm not going to let that happen to my kids. We both were horrible to our mothers mm -hmm. and beat Sorry. them into submission. Sorry, Mama. Um, until they would not, because we didn't want to take piano yeah, lessons, lessons anymore. And so I stopped probably, I was 12 or 13 okay. when I stopped piano lessons. I think I was 11-ish. And, uh, yeah. Big regret. And my mom's Big. like, you're going to regret it. And I'm like, I don't care. Huge Well, guess regret. what? I regretted it. I still regret it. Oh then I got gosh. to college and became a music major and regretted it even more. And now I'm a middle school vocal music teacher with yeah. no accompanist. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's hard, and every day I say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What was that? Squirrel? Was that a squirrel or a Pass bird? Up. I think a bird just flew into the window. Well, I think, uh, I think Conan got it. <laughs> so, yes, music does play into our lives still. We still sing together, too, and yes, we have been singing fun. together for, like, We sing together a lot 20 of... years now? Yeah. Well, 97. More than 20. It's more than 20. We've been singing together for more than 20 years. 22 years. years. It's ridiculous. I like doing the Christmas Eve services. I do too. I don't know. So. One of my favorite services, and we usually do do it for that. Yes. And also, if you have ever watched any of our things, there's most of music involved in anything that we do. Okay. We sing a lot of the time yeah. on the things that we do, yeah. and uh, we're ridiculous. And uh, yeah, so music, yeah. That's we're a like. Big part. So More like part that. of our lives. It's huge. Okay. Huge. Sensible Living with Money Mom. She's got a fun little uh, That's YouTube cute. channel. cute. Hi, here are my questions. Okay. She's got three. One, what are some of your favorite vintage recipes? Mm. Well, mine would be spaghetti balls because that was like a 1920s uh, and recipe. And you have to know that in these cookbooks, I mean, we're pouring through them trying to find some odd ones odd and things. weird things, yeah. things that we think may or may not taste great or maybe they will taste great or we're just like questioning them but in these cookbooks there's a lot of stuff that's really good yeah there so is. i mean didn't you make a cake with harry yeah. some kind of like trifle thing yeah i think we Strawberry. did like a charlotte russe or something yeah like, that. like there's some really it's great fun. recipes yeah it's fun to make those good ones with the kids yes <laughs> yes two what do you do for hobbies okay what do you do besides teach for a hobby 
When I have time, right? right? When I have time, I love to read. Mm -hmm. Um, I love to uh, watch TV. What shows are you watching? Oh, right now, um, things that we should probably not talk about oh. on this channel. You're right. You know, like, cause, you know, they're for adults. Right, they're just, you gotta enter in your passcode. Right, so I can't like, say big mouth. Oh my word, don't say that. Righteous gemstones, it's not for Oh, righteous for gemstones, everybody. so funny. But like, so funny. not for everybody. Watchmen. I haven't watched Great. that. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so really? good. It's got Don Johnson in it. I know. I uh, know. I know. You gotta watch it. What else? That's good. Oh, Although, did I tell you I watched The Politician? No. You'd like it. I gotta watch that. You would like it. So it was it was enjoyable. I gotta Gwyneth watch that. Paltrow was fun. It oh. was a it had a very um oh I can't think of the movie. Um Great Tannenbaums oh, I love feel that. to it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It was it was very enjoyable. I enjoyed it. What else it. do we do? Uh, well, we do this. I volunteer all over town all the time. Yes. I have a, I'm involved in a lot of, I have a, yeah, I volunteer yeah. for an I mean, organization that does good for our community. Yes. That's like my halftime job. Um, that's definite truth. Yeah. Right, um, right. what else do we do for fun? We like to go out. With our we like to like, I don't know, just like go out and eat and talk and yeah. fun and yeah. go to festivals and yeah. Yeah. Go to musicals and, yeah. I saw, and um, the Philharmonic. Cabaret and, at OU a couple so weeks ago. It was, was good. It great? It was Love good. Cabaret. It was good. It was fun. It was fun. I mean, but hobbies in general, like... I like to cross-stitch when I have time. When you have time. But I never have time. I tried to learn so how I to... never cross-stitch. My mom tried to teach me how to crochet. Oh, I just... You can't do that. She's so... And she does beautiful things. Oh, my God. My mom is so good at crocheting. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I just, I tried. I would love to learn how to quilt. I feel like I made you a hat. Did I make you a hat? No, you made me one of those big old I scarves. did make you a scarf. It was like this big, huge scarf. It was a hot second. I didn't yeah. do it anymore. No, but you <laughs> finger knit. I do like to finger knit. And you made this behind us. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I love to finger knit the You like garland. to craft. I'm a big crafter. You love to craft. I know. You should see the trees I, I made for Gala. They were so cute. They were impressive. Yeah. I craft when she makes me craft with her. Yeah. I've make made wreaths. I do like to make wreaths. You like I to make wreaths? I enjoy crafting a yes. lot. Yes. Did you ever watch that show, Making It? Yes, of course. <gasps> I love to make it. Love Are they going to make another season? I hope so because I love <sighs> Nick Offerman and I love Amy, Amy Poehler. Poehler. So I'm in for whatever they do. Oh, that was such That's a fun fine. show. What else do we do? Besides watch shows? We do watch shows. We're busy and we're tired. We are. You're, you're super, super duper busy with school. I'm tired. super duper busy with my kids and my volunteer work. I'm so tired. I don't even get home until like 8 o'clock at night most nights. I know it's wrong. Ugh. This fall is hard, man. It's, I'm tired. You can hear it in my voice. I'm tired. Okay. Gigi Dodson. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Um, how did you settle on old time recipes? Is it something you remember your granny serving? Granny. How did you two meet? Well, we've covered how did we meet and how do we settle on old time recipes? We covered that with like going through those books. Um, something you remember your granny serving? Yes. Like, oh yeah. I, my, both my grandmothers took totally different cooks. Yes. One was a Cajun country cook. She made gumbo, etouffee, as well as just all kinds of other Yum. stuff. My other grandmother, like for my birthday, would make me roast duck and Yum. carrot cake. So good. I know. And flan. I love that. Yeah. My grandmothers were very different cooks. My And I didn't really get to spend a lot of time with my grandmothers because they lived out of state. And mm -hmm. so I was always in a different state. And so when I did, I was really excited about it. But my, uh, my dad's mom, she wasn't a big cook. I mean, she okay. would cook, mm -hmm. but um, she was more into the dieting. <laughs> and so there okay. were, we didn't have a lot of food when we were at Grandma Remix, but like, it was all right. Okay. But Grandma Shell Eggs, that's where I learned to cook. She made homemade egg noodles all the time, and Ooh. she was a great baker. Ooh, yeah. Great baker, made the best fried chicken. I mean, just like... She was she was just an amazing cook and yeah. had this you know they they lived in this giant Victorian home. Ooh, that's fun. And the kitchen, of course, was in the back. Yeah. 
Um, and it was just a utilitarian kitchen, mm -hmm. right? So like a stovetop. Yeah. And it wasn't pretty at all. The mm -hmm. rest of the house was just gorgeous. Same with my grandmother. But yeah. it was just a kitchen. Yeah. You know, it wasn't meant to be those seen. Those old homes. Yes, those old homes, the kitchen was... But that's supposed where, to be in the back where ladies belong. Right? But that's where everybody was. And that's what we would do. And so my grandmother from, you know, early on just taught me how to do all of that stuff. And I wanted to be around her because I love my grandma yeah. Shelley. Oh, man. Yeah. I loved her. And I got her nose. This nose <laughs> is my grandma Shelley's nose. It really is. Isn't it, Mama? It is. Yeah, Jeez. she'll even say it. Um, so, yeah, we love our grandmas. Yep. They're amazing. Um, Gigi... That was from we Gigi. That one. Uh, built on the Rock Homestead. Hey, uh, what made you decide to start your YouTube channel and focus on such weird recipes? Well, really, I think it was just as a way to entertain our friends. Yeah, and would you say, and just and ourselves, and ourselves. It. This is our hobby. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about hobbies, like, what are your hobbies? This. This. This is. Our like, but when we first started this, none of us knew anything about really posting things on Instagram no. or Facebook. Like, we weren't really doing... Didn't know anything about a YouTube channel. No, didn't Still know Still don't. <laughs> Still don't. Didn't know anything about videoing or editing. Still, still don't. Three years later, still, still trying to figure it out. What's funny about this whole thing is my boyfriend is a, a journalism teacher, um, and his job is to edit video all day long for his students at school high school and he does none of this stephanie does it all i do all the things she does all of it so um i'm sorry so in this in <laughs> how amateur everything is <laughs> we all know it's amateur hour it is amateur, amateur hour. hour big time i so am, food network if you want it better <laughs> give us a call and i'll let you do all the editing you you can do it we'll let you yeah we have no proprietary requirements for editing any of our videos no. like we don't really food network care. we're waiting for that phone call no i mean just like totally sign us up we're ready <laughs> It's fine. OETA? Do you want us to do OETA? Some? I would do OETA. <laughs> yeah. Like Bob Ross. Did you hear that for Bob sure. Ross did all of those for free? No. Yes. Every single Bob Ross thing he did for free. He never got paid. Really? Yes. Why? Because he's Bob Ross. He's the father of the happy trees. Happy, happy clouds. Happy and trees. the happy clowns. Oh my god. I watched him last night. It was very soothing. Have you ever That's watched funny. it, really? Like, watched it's it? It's been somewhere? a long... I watched it as a kid. That's so soothing. I watched it as a kid. It was soothing. The way he talks. I know. Just I think right that's here. why he's got. A, he's coming back with the kids, because it was so soothing. I saw a kid with a Bob Ross shirt yesterday. Addison has a Bob Ross shirt. Of course he does, because Bob Ross is awesome and amazing. But OETA, if you'd want us, like, you know, PBS, come on. We'll do it. We'll go around right. the country with you. Right. In a heartbeat. Yeah, we don't need to edit. No. We don't need to know any more about I'll it. Hand that over to somebody else. Oh, no. now I still want to look for recipes. Yes, and in this, like in this creative relationship, content is up to us. Yeah, like that is my thing. I love finding yeah. the Jello molds, and yeah. I love finding these cookbooks yeah. and these other things, yeah. and I love researching, and that's the fun. That's, that's fun the part. fun bit for us is just finding out the new things yeah. and the challenge for sure. So I think before we go, hold on, I just kind of want to have another one of these because go we got everybody. So here's to all right, all of you for submitting your thank you questions. Thank if you, you ever have any other questions, don't hesitate. Write us. Tell us what you want to know. This is really vinegary. I like it. Packs a punch, man. Yeah, wow. It's really good with the beer. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. I don't think I can go back in. Yes, you can. And cut. <laughs>